GitOps is a big deal these days and it is gaining popularity by every minute. One of the leading GitOps tool is Argo CD and there are few other products from Argo but let's focus on Argo CD for a while. In this diagram on the left hand side there is a Git repository and then on the right hand side we have Kubernetes cluster. This Kubernetes cluster could be on your on-prem in your cloud like AWS CKS or whatever. In the middle we have this Argo CD. In very simple words, whenever something is committed on the left hand side in the repo, Argo CD picks it up and applies it on the Kubernetes cluster. Or what it is trying to do, the Argo CD is trying to match your desired state in your Git to your current state in the Kubernetes cluster. Argo CD is an open source tool. So what Codefresh has done, it provides a managed Argo. Not only it provides a managed Argo, but it also provides it with a world-class support and also ensures that you can run Argo CD or Argo products on enterprise scale. So what exactly is Argo again? Argo is a leading GitOps tool, as I mentioned earlier. And just as a formal definition of GitOps, GitOps is primarily a practice to manage software deployments along with its infrastructure. It is mainly focused on deploying the resources on your Kubernetes cluster. For example, you deploy containers in Kubernetes as pods. These pods are declared as YAML files or manifests. In GitOps, you put these manifests in a Git repository and GitOps tools like Argo ensure that these manifests in Git are applied to the Kubernetes cluster. Whenever we commit a new change in this Git repo on these manifests, Argo makes sure that these desired declared manifests matches with what's running in the Kubernetes cluster. So why exactly we need Codefresh? Well, Argo is an open source project and if you implement Argo in your organization, you have to make sure that you apply all the updates and manage its infrastructure. At enterprise level with small teams, this becomes quite a big deal fairly quickly as more and more clusters are created with multiple microservices. This is where Codefresh comes into play. It's a managed Argo. It takes care of Argo side of things, which include upgrade, patching, etc. It also provides a nice cool interface with all your Argo CD pipelines with visibility into the history of your pipeline runs and various other features. It also provides world-class support as few contributors to original Argo projects are also on the panel of Codefresh. Codefresh extends the ease and universal compatibility of Argo CD and rollouts with enterprise visibility, tracking, and health checks. It also dramatically reduces the impact of change failure with canary and blue-green deployments. Faster deployments are seen by teams that adopt GitOps. Codefresh is cloud agnostic and fully supports on-prem infrastructure too. So you're not confined to one cloud. Right. So now let's have a quick look on few of the screenshots of how this Codefresh looks like. And these all screenshots are from the Codefresh.io website. One thing which I love about Codefresh is its secure pipelines. Codefresh enables the true potential of a unified CICD platform with intelligent build correlation go to cloud visibility and actionable intelligence as can be seen on this screen where you can see that it is showing us um, on the top that the infrastructure is healthy and Git repo is synced with the cluster and it is also giving us our source and destination source pins on the left hand side Git and destination means on the right hand side of our Kubernetes cluster and you can also select who is a committer um, what is a you can also filter it down through various things like your pull request issues etc plus there is a dotted a status pipe a status line where you can see the historical information 
and then you can drill down as per your projects plus it also gives you a summary of what was created updated or removed from the kit and then whether it was a canary or blue green deployment and um, another thing is that uh, with codefresh you can deploy the build runner behind the firewall and all your data stays behind the firewall, uh, firewall. and then this is another great feature of um, codefresh being software as a service and you don't have to worry about too much of a security headaches then comes universal dashboard it is actually quite mind-blowing um, the graphics are really good and not only they are good they are useful too so they are not just there for the show off you can in a very quick glance can tell which of your pipelines are healthy which are which have failed how many clusters are there and if there is any cluster which got degraded or have issues with it when you are trying to deploy it and then how many applications are there in which region and then how many deployments were failed and uh, also the, the whole workflow duration and uh, so it basically this universal dashboard from code fresh enables you to search observe and track applications also your artifacts plus environments and then also health checks across all of your builds and deployment environments regardless of their location this dashboard which is exclusive to code fresh also brings total clarity to your software delivery then we have dora metrics dora metrics are used by DevOps team to measure their performance and find out whether they are uh, low performance to elite performance. There are actually four metrics which are used in Dora, and these are deployment frequency, lead time for change, mean time to recovery, and then change failure rate. Tracking um, the effectiveness of GitHub software de delivery has never been more effortless if you go through codefresh because codefresh automatically tracks lead time to change also mean time to repair change failure rate and deployment frequency at every level level of your engineering organization well codefresh is cloud agnostic and it fully supports on-prem infrastructure too as we mentioned earlier so you can use it either with aws your google cloud or, or even if you are running an on-prem kubernetes cluster uh, you can also sign up at codefresh.io to play around with this uh, platform. I hope that helped. This was just a quick overview of Codefresh. In the coming days, I'll be posting some walkthrough as how to actually use the Codefresh with the demos and commands and stuff. So stay tuned. I hope this helped. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.